Alex and Christine, back in the before times, being on winter break for students meant doing things like family fun, maybe travel, maybe skiing. But now it means standing in a long line to get a COVID test. I mean, this line is probably an hour and a half, two hours. You know? Two lines snake up to this COVID testing site at Pacoima Middle School. Those in the cars had COVID symptoms. Those lined up here did not. If I got um, COVID, I would be very mad. Seven-year-old Hector Mosqueda with the sentiment shared by both parents and students. It's crazy because we had to be out of work. I had, right. to, I had to stay home and, and watch them, take care of them. Um, well, uh, you know, they get better until they test it negative. Yes, there would be a disruption because I am a single parent. Jennifer Mosqueda is getting ready just in case. Everything that we had put away of, you know, oh, well, at home, school at home, we put it all away. So now it's, okay, well, it's time to get it all back out sure. because we're not, we're not sure. It isn't certain. LAUSD required all 600,000 students to test before returning to the classroom next week. Instead of Monday, schools will start a day later. I guess it has to be done for the teacher's sake, but it feels a very last minute. La Cunada Unified students were to return Wednesday, but not all students managed to get tested, and those who did, the positivity rate was 10%. School will begin Thursday, and fingers crossed the positive students can join next week. For, for our students who test, tested positive on Monday, with the five days, we're going to have um, a Sunday test clinic, and so they can be back you know, in the classroom, um, you know, hopefully healthy and ready to go um, the following Monday. Back to Hector, he summed up best why he needs and wants to get back to the classroom. I would not be able to do math, art, um, language arts. And all see that. friends. Yes. Yeah, a lot of talk about how it is damaging to the students' mental health to keep them out of the classroom. Now, LAUSD plans to give out home rapid tests with their grab-and-go lunches at those sites on Friday and Saturday. And here's a little bit of a pro tip. Instead of standing in these lines, if you can find one of those tests, you can upload the results to LAUSD, and that will suffice to get your kids back into school. Reporting live in Pukoim, I'm Susan Harris. Soon at Fox 11 News. Hmm.